Oh my god, finally we got another Pacific Rim movie. I am so excited. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait to see some kaiju's asses being whooped. I can't wait for explosions and all that shit. Hey you guys, me I Troll77 here again to review that. With all those jokes aside guys, let's let's just talk about the story. Our story begins 10 years after the first Pacific Rim, where we follow our main character, Jake, played by John Boyega, who is pretty much, he is the son of Stacker Pentecost, played by Idris Alba in the first one. Um, right now, he's pretty much just a hustler. <laughs> he pretty much steals uh, parts from old Jaegers in this Jaeger dumping ground, just to make a quick buck and get some weird shit like salsa and uh, cookies, whatever. But one night though, Jake decides to <laughs> rummage through a Jaeger dumping ground to sell a part when all of a sudden he gets caught by the cops pretty much and gets sent to jail But luckily his sister Maiko came here to save the day But unfortunately she said the only way you can leave this prison because he's been in there multiple times Is if he goes back to the Jaeger program and teaches some young cadets Jake pretty much doesn't want anything to do with the Jaeger program He just pretty much just wanted to do his own thing but unfortunately, he has to suck it up and teach these cadets. Um, unfortunately, a, a rogue Jaeger just shows up out of nowhere, and Jake has to figure out who the heck is that rogue Jaeger. Now, guys, you've seen my opener. You know I'm, <laughs> I looked a little mad about it. Well, before we start talking about that, how about we just get through the positive? The cast was pretty cool, guys. Uh, John Boyega is great as always. Um, he always has this really good charisma. Like, you can't help but like him. I don't know what it is. Um, we also have a returning actress, uh, Rinko Kukuichi. If, if I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry, I, had, I, I can't pronounce her name. I have to look at the dang screen. <laughs> um, but she played Maiko in the first Pacific Rim. I was a little disappointed because you don't see her that much, guys. Unfortunately, even though he does play the sister of Jake, so I thought she would be in most of it, but no, unfortunately not. Of course, there's more actors and actresses in this film, but um, just, oh, I'm just gonna say overall, everyone was good. The action scenes were pretty cool, guys. Um, it was great, like, seeing the, you know, the Jaegers back again fighting, you know, Kaiju, especially when they're fighting that new uh, rogue Jaeger I spoke about in, in the beginning. Um, those scenes are really cool. Um, I love that they had these two blades and they're just like, you know, zushing everything. It's great. Um, and I know I don't really sound enthusiastic, well, time to get to the negative. It is not as good as Pacific, the first Pacific Rim. Um, it's pretty boring, and you're probably wondering, like, how the hell is a freaking mech movie freaking boring? Well, it's the fucking story, guys. The dialogue is so boring, and I know a lot of people had their complaints with the first Pacific Rim saying it took itself too seriously. In my opinion, I didn't think so. I thought it was, I, 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 you know what, I take that back. I do agree that it did take itself seriously at times, but for the most part, everyone was just having fun. It was just a good time. Here though, I feel like they dialed the seriousness up a little bit. The humor in this film is freaking bad. And <laughs> I didn't laugh one stinking bit. And you know what the worst part is? One of the jokes in this film was a freaking meme. It was the la 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 la. Yeah, it, that freaking meme popped in the damn movie. Why? That did not make me laugh once. It made me cringe like no other. The sad part is, I know when I talked about the action scenes, like I didn't sound so enthusiastic or I was like, oh my god. Well, it's because you have to get through all these scenes when the Jaegers are not around that by the time you get to them, you're pretty much tired. You're exhausted from freaking being bored. <laughs> At one point, I was I don't tend to slouch in my dang seat usually. Like, I'm pretty excited to see a film. I, like, sit up, and I'm usually at the edge of my seat. But this time, I was on a reclinable chair, by the way. I was, like, just shrinking in there <laughs> because I was so bored. I was tired. I was, all, I was looking at my damn watch, even though it was freaking dark. <laughs> um, wondering, like, how, like, how long is this movie? This movie is only an hour and 50 minutes. Why in the hell did it feel like it was, like, Bah, more than that, okay? Why? There are so many missed opportunities with this film. Especially, like, like I said earlier, they wasted the character of Maiko. Maiko was a fantastic character in the first one. I liked her arc in it. Like, she's this little bright young woman who wants to be in a Jaeger. Wants to fight in one. And she has to work her way up and prove herself. 
And in this one, she's so uptight. And I get it. She's like some sort of general. But here's the thing. I It would have been much better if Jake were piloting with Maiko in the damn film. Not for her just to stand aside and do nothing. I'm not a fan of stories that just shove in random characters that never existed in the first of all. Not even mentioned. I'm not really a big fan. So Sometimes it could be done well. But this one, it, it really just felt forced to me. And um, I just think it would have been better if uh, Jake was just a new character. It just would have worked better. Now, I do apologize for going on this tangent. Like, you probably think right now, like, oh, Iron Toe, you probably fucking hate it. No, I don't hate this film. I don't think it's, like, the worst film in the world. It's, it's just, I'm frustrated that it, it was just so disappointing. And the thing is, I really, I, I'm a really big fan of the first Pacific Rim. I had so much fun with it. But here's the thing, like, all the characters, or the actors, sorry, had a gr like they looked like they had a fun time making this film. It was just a fun vibe. Like even though it did take itself too seriously at times, but here's the thing: why did Pacific the first Pacific Rim made me care about these characters, whereas this one I really didn't give a damn. And you're and again I know the Pacific Rim, the first one, did not have the greatest story. But here's the thing: <laughs> when the mechs got attacked in that one, I actually gave a damn. I was all like, oh shit! When um, Gypsy Danger was like, going through the water and got her arm t ripped off by a freaking kaiju in the water. Like, there was some tensity in that. All right, besides all the things that I've said, guys, um, when I left the theater, I really did have to fight, uh, like, you know, what to score this. Um, because, again, I don't think it's the worst film in the world. But um, all I can say is, if you are looking for just, you know, robots fighting giant monsters or robots fighting robots, um, I'm sure you'll have a good time. If that's all you're expecting, go ahead. But again, in my opinion, that's what I was just wanting. I wasn't trying to critique it harshly, but it was just really disappointing to me. And that is why I'm giving Pacific Rim 2 Uprising a two and a half out of five. The half point, just because like, I really did like the mech battles. If it wasn't for the mech battles, if they were terrible, then it would just be a freaking two. Thank you guys for watching my review. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. And if you want to watch more of my reviews, or especially some upcoming ones, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to keep up to date with my channel, maybe some like behind the scenes shit, maybe some bloopers, please follow me on Instagram right here. Catch you guys next time.